So imagine booting up a video game and you realise it's completely made by AI. I'm talking story, characters, dialogue, artwork, all of it. This isn't sci-fi, this is already happening. Today we're diving into the insane world of AI generated games and what it means for the future of gaming as we know it. From one person teams using tools like Scenario, Runway and Unity Muse to playable demos that look like they came out of a AAA studio. AI is levelling the playing field in ways we haven't seen before. So let's clarify, what does it really mean when we say that a game is made by AI? So currently AI tools are being used to generate entire environments, write character dialogue and quests, animate characters and facial expressions, even code game logic with simple prompts. Now some creators, they're using tools like Runway ML to create entire cinematic cutscenes. ChatGPT for dialogue, and Scenario or Leonardo AI for in-game assets. So this really means what used to take a whole team can now be done by a single creator in a fraction of the time. I mean, look at these particular games made by AI. The visual fidelity of it is insane. And I actually took a look at a few of these games myself, and here are two that absolutely blew my mind. So number one is AI Dungeon by Latitude. It's like an infinite choose your own adventure game powered by GPT. And the possibilities are literally endless. And number two, Subnautica Reimagined by Runway AI. Now this isn't currently playable, but it's an AI rendering of the survival game Subnautica. And it looks absolutely insane. The visuals are hyper realistic and at points it looks indistinguishable from reality. I mean, imagine this in VR and what that would be like. So AI seems to be reaching every single part of media at the minute, right? So what is the pros and cons of using AI in creating a game? So the tech is amazing, but it's not perfect. So the pros are there's way faster dev cycles. It's more accessible for indie creators and it has wild creative potential. The cons, ethical questions around asset copyright is a big one. Quality control is still an issue. I think lack of emotional storytelling and nuance in certain games. Still, the trajectory is wild. In just a few months, the difference in quality is shocking. But does this mean that AI will replace real people and real game developers? I don't think so, but it will redefine what's possible. So indie creators now have superpowers. They can compete with AAA game studios where they couldn't before. But even the big studios, they're incorporating AI into their pipelines right now. So expect games that are more dynamic, more personalized, and faster to release than ever before, which is a real plus. We could even have NPCs in games essentially be controlled by ChatGPT and their lines are endless. So you can have RPGs that have so many possibilities. AI can be very scary, and I do think we should worry about it in some areas. But in terms of being used for gaming, I think this is a really good tool because it suddenly speeds up everything. And rather than waiting years for the next release of a particular franchise or a new big game from a studio, it will just speed up workflows and it shouldn't decimate the workforce too much. It should just allow people to use AI's tools. But let me know in the comments if you think you would actually play a fully AI generated game or do you prefer the human touch? And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to support this channel, you can find the link below to my Patreon. I'll see you next time.